learn how to browse and enjoy magazines in Libby. There are three ways to search for magazines in Libby. You can complete a quick or advanced search, view the library page, and set a preference. First, tap on the magnifying glass to complete a quick or advanced search. Here, you can complete a one-time search for magazines only, or you can search by keyword for a specific magazine. For example, Bon Appetit. The current issues cover will be amongst an array of recent covers, you can return back to the library page. From here at the top, you can view one of our What's Up lists to quickly search and filter through magazines. For example, by tapping on the new filter, you can view all new magazines in your library's digital collection. At the top, you can filter by format. Today, I'm using a magazine only collection. But if your library offered ebooks and audiobooks as well, you can narrow that down to magazine only. On the right hand side, you can refine by subject, language, and more. In addition, you can type in a keyword to search within results. When available, magazines will have up to three years worth of back issues. The third way to search for magazines in Libby is by setting a preference. The preferences icon is available at the top of any search result page. It's also viewable on the library homepage. Here, adjust the format from any to magazines. Now, anytime you are searching or browsing your library, you are only going to find magazines. At any time, you can dismiss this filter to widen your search. Now that you see magazines, you can scroll down to see some additional lists curated by your staff librarians. With an understanding of how to search and browse for magazines, let's borrow one and show you how you can enjoy it. Go ahead and tap on a magazine that interests you. Take a moment to review the title description. And you can scroll down to see additional magazines in the series. Returning back to the top, borrow the magazine. You can choose your lending period and confirm. With magazines, you will be prompted to create a notify me tag each time you borrow or return a magazine. You can also select how to receive notifications for this type of tag in the Libby main menu. When borrowing a magazine, a few things I want you to be aware of. Magazines will not count toward your checkout limit, which is very nice. And there are no circulation caps, which means there's no waiting for magazines. An unlimited number of users can read a magazine at the same time. The magazine will automatically download for offline reading if you are connected to Wi-Fi. Open up the magazine to begin enjoying. At the bottom, you're going to see your timeline where you will get a beautiful preview of each page. Once we get to an article, tap once in the center to remove that timeline and tap the button at the bottom to read an article view. This is going to ap appear vertically, and you can enlarge in the font if you would like under your appearance settings. When scrolling through a magazine, you can zoom in and out by pinching on the screen, or if you're using Libby in your web browser, you can click on this zoom icon to zoom in and out and switch between pages. One final thing I'd like to mention under that appearance, I told you you can adjust your text scale in article view. In addition, you can adjust the background lighting. 
Once you're finished with your magazine for the day, simply tap back in the upper left hand corner of the screen. And to manage your loans, you can tap on your shelf. You will notice that your magazine you are currently reading will appear to the right of your navigation bar. You can dismiss this at any time. If you are using a smaller device, the now reading will appear on top of the navigation bar. Magazines automatically return at the end of the lending period. However, you can manually return titles if you would like by tapping on Manage Loan and return early. Knowing how to borrow and enjoy magazines in Libby is a great way to discover digital reading.